So you guys remember my video, the Chelsea Chop. So I've got some perennials here, some um, cone flowers. These are called, I think they're called sombrero, something like that. Very beautiful. Kind of a dusty, kind of a dusky pink or dusky red. Um, actually, you know what? I think this one has aster yellow. Now, if you're not familiar with aster yellow, I'll bring you guys in a little closer here. So aster yellow is a disease that um, affects plants in the daisy family. And I think a few other uh, similar type plants um, that um, I'll have to probably put the information up on the screen. But, I, but the little I do know is they affect plants in the daisy family. So basically what you're looking at here is a deformity or a defect. Um, we're looking at one right now. Here's a flower head. Like I said, this is supposed to be a dusky uh, red or pink, similar to this, but it comes out malformed and looks like that. Here's another there's another example right here that's very extreme. I mean, this is just not how this flower head is supposed to look like. And so this is an aster yellow. So the way you take care of this is to completely remove the plant. So the way you handle aster yellows in your garden is to completely remove the plant from your garden. Um, and it's unfortunate, especially if you have some prized possessions or some you know rare varieties of a certain type of plant you know it's kind of a bummer but it's okay um plants come and go you know so here's another one that i think has a case of aster yellow and since it's right near this one that's afflicted i think this one is uh succumbing to it as well so coming back let's take a look at what we're dealing with here three similar plants. They're all um, coneflower, sombrero, something one, something or another. This is the one that I pointed out that has that affliction. You see them? This one right here looks to be relatively healthy. I am going to monitor it. And then this one right here appears to have that same problem you see that this is just not how the blooms form on this plant this is how the bloom's supposed to look like that so and there's some other petals so there's some other flower heads right here so i got to be careful and not um disturb it too much because it could very well just jump to the plant right next to it which i'm I'm kind of surprised that this plant is not showing it. Listen, a plant can have aster yellow and not even show it. So that's the bad thing. Um, how I was able to recognize that, I came into this bed right here to do some maintenance, do some Chelsea chops on all my cone flowers because they're getting a little too big and too leggy. So yeah, when you see it, you gotta take care of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and uproot that one and this one. Um, they're spread by tiny mites. They're spread by tiny mites and the mites that are infected jump from one host plant to the next host plant, so. So I'm trying to disturb this plant as little as possible.
And like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and pull that other one just for precaution. I just look at this as an opportunity to add another plant that I might like in its place. A plant that most likely is not afflicted by the um, aster yellow disease. probably asking well how do you know about aster yellow how do you know what to look for well in this very same bed last year I believe one of my purple cone flowers had aster yellow and I yanked it up and I thought a neighboring plant had it as well another cone flower I yanked both of them up bagged them up put them on a curb so now what I'm gonna do is spray the affected areas and put some mulch on top. Aster yellow is not eradicated by any sprays, unfortunately, any, any um, uh, insecticides. Um, you just have to get rid of the bush and destroy it and monitor the affected varieties or the affected bushes. So I'm just doing this for my sanity, I guess. <laughs> All right, let's get some mulch. Make sure I spray my pruners. All right, folks, thanks for joining me on this episode of AJ's Green Thumb. See you in the next one. Take care.